Well, hello there and welcome back to uh, my channel here on the Two Sicilies, aka the Two Roman Empires. Looks like Provis abdicated for me so that I can finish up to the, four, uh, the 1821 finish date. So with that being said, if my young empress, the incredible Imperatrix Anastasia I of Visconti dies, I will continue to play. Uh, I've talked to Provis about this. I'm just going to finish out the campaign. So... If you guys are just now finding me through Provis's channel, welcome. I am Chewy, and I'm going to be finishing this campaign. I got a lot of comments in the past asking if we were going to go for a world conquest. At this point, no, we're not. Uh, it would just be way too much of a hassle. Look at that Ming name placement. That is awesome. But uh, yes, I was taking a look around, and uh, Provis left me with a present of 368 over extension because he's just a great guy who uh, really, really wants to help me out, right? <laughs> so... Yeah, that's pretty bad. Luckily for us, he's coring literally all of it. So that's good. Uh, where is this all at anyways? If you go to your diplomat mode, you can see he just annexed a bunch of Ethiopia, a bunch of this over here. What else? Stuff in, over here in Indochina. So how about... All right. Okay. And we can't... Oh, you cannot create a uh, client state in overseas territories. So yes, we're behind on Diplo, but it's because he's finishing up diplomatic ideas. Now... I'm okay with this. Um, I want to kind of push for this, and I kind of think that that's probably what he was going for. I'd like to actually finish it because then that will allow us to get 10% cheaper dis Diplo cost. Diplo doesn't matter in the late game, so if we don't ever take another Diplo tech, it's fine. Uh, if you take a look at this, uh, you can see Prussia here has, yeah, 555,000 men, which is pretty nuts. And then Russia over here has 650,000 men, which is pretty crazy. He's subsidizing him a ton as well. Uh, so that's awesome. New Italy is disloyal because they're an ungrateful git, which is uh, annoying. You can just enable support loyalists and then they're loyal again for the rest of the game. How come I get support loyalists? Is that a crown colony thing? Interesting. I don't, I still don't really know what these do. So we have, as far as provinces or uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, colonial nations. We have the cold north, Grand Bayou. The Cult of Provis looking very good. Death Valley, Coco Coco, and Chili, which I appreciate. And also Upside Down Pizza, which I forgot about. I had mentioned in the past that I was doing conquest on all continents. And people said, bro, you forgot about um, Down Under. And I did. And I apologize. But yes, look at that. How's that looking? Roman Empire is so fun. So, so fun. My lag is really bad right now. Uh, I'm not even at war right now. So if we take a look at where we are, we should probably continue conquests over here. It will call in Timurid and Janpur. Don't care. We will, uh, when we get a diplomat here. Yeah, we don't need to be improving relations with our vassals. With all of them, just one is fine. And uh, I didn't know that I was, to be honest with you, maybe we shouldn't be declaring any wars for a moment. Kind of let this coring finish up. Oh my gosh, it's going to be bad. It's going to be really bad. So where do I have unrest? Let's take a look here. To be honest with you, it's not, it's not actually that bad. So like considering how bad it could be, do I not have an unrest map mode? Here it is. So we got these guys over here. We have an army, one single army over here that will handle these rebels. Because essentially what happens when you're overextended is that if you have unrest in any province, they will rebel. Like there's, you cannot do anything about it. They will rebel 100%. Because what happens is, is it multiplies, being overextended multiplies the amount of unrest that you have in each province. So, or uh, rather the chance of an uprising happening. So what that translates to is we have, um, we have rebels that are ticking up at 10%, but since we're super overextended, they actually tick up at 10 or at 30 percent chance but they that they gain 10 percent each each month if that makes sense so have you guys suppress over here as well have you guys suppress over here yeah a bunch of random provinces that have disloyal or uh unrest probably from separatist sentiment and stuff like that all uh, right let's get you guys over here all these crazy um what you might call it stacks that Provis has i'm just gonna leave them at this point, manpower is not an issue for us, so we don't need to worry about like being smart with our manpower. These guys over here. Yeah, we don't have any unrest over there. We just got to make sure 
I really do think Provis trolled me a little bit by giving me all this. So Shoshone, where's that at? So I, Shoshone? Uh, can I hit F over here? Nope. F is just doing that. All right. So let's hit F Shoshone. All right. Let's see here. We are over our governing capacity, which is not ideal. Oh my gosh. What province? Please just tell me the province. Sha. Sh oh my gosh. I cannot type. All right. So some rebels over here in the new world that I will suppress for my vassal because I'm a good guy. Because I'm a good guy. All right, let's suppress you. You, 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 and you and you. There we go. Uh, do we have another stack over here? We do. So let's get you guys down there. Yep, new world is mostly covered. Get you guys over here in Death Valley. They should be handled now. Uh, let's go with, let's go with the national unrest. I don't think it's going to be super helpful, but, uh, it'll be better than having no unrest reduction. And as we continue to core stuff up, it will get even better. Uh, possible advisors, yearly prestige, nobility, loyalty for a bunch of money, money of which we don't need, don't have issues with. So let's take a look here because if I can fix this, I would like to, let me get my auto clicker here. Uh, auto clicker. And you just click and hold that down. Loads slow as a turd, but uh, it adds up to be useful, right? So anytime you can spam these buildings out, you might as well. Especially when you get to the point in the game where uh, money is not an object. Yeah, those are not super useful. We have a couple of furnaces that we need to be building. Oh, that lagged pretty good. Looks like it's built in all the other provinces, which is good. There's a couple provinces over here that we need to build it in. So let's do that there as well. Um, any more that we need to be building it in down here, which is being building down there. Let's build you. I don't need to be building these at all, but I will anyways. Let's include our subjects. Oh my gosh. This lag with the macro builder is crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like unplayable. All right. So that's all of those. Let's also build up all of these. Um, we might as well build them in our vassals lands as well. There's no reason not to, right? Let's bring it down here, sort by that, and... Oh my gosh, it's so slow. That's with the auto-clicker. So that means it's as fast as it can be. Yikes. <laughs> this is mostly in my vassal's lands, but this is fine. This will help them out. Uh, I don't actually know. I think you can see if a vassal is overextended or over their uh, governing cap limit. Maybe you can. I don't know. So let's just build a few more of these. No problem. I mean, we're good. And you got to remember with Prussia, we got rid of their uh, Prussian monarchy. So they don't have uh, governing capacity issues like they would have if they had the Prussian monarchy still. When I force converted them to, uh, to Orthodox, they lost it. So let's take a look here. Can you see their governing capacity? I think you can, right? Uh, let's say, for example, Prussia. Governing capacity. Okay, so they're actually totally fine. Russia's totally fine. Moose land. I missed that one. Where's Moose land? Moose land. Oh, hey. Nice. We have an Australia. Or an Australia. An Alaska. And I missed it. So let's take this. Yep, that's fine. Now... If we wanted to integrate these guys, we can't do it. Ah, we're not going to be able to. Yep, December twenty, December 1st, 1821. So not going to happen. That is fine. So we have an heir who's a 552. That's fine. There we go. And we'll just convert what we can here. And uh, again, yeah, I'm going to try to just suppress rebels and let the next year or so be composed of just handling rebels. Kind of uh, stabilizing the economy. Uh, you know what? We might as well get to war. There's no reason not to. Imperialism, as Provis would say. <laughs> uh, let's have you guys head up there. Have you guys head like over here in the carpet siege. At this point, we have all of our things unlocked, so we can do whatever we want with them. Siege them down. What's our siege ability? Not bad. 
We're going to need to handle these guys over here. But uh, I think what I'm actually going to do is just let my vassals handle them. But I don't have any men over here in Jampur, so... All right. These guys are standing on the same province for some reason. Oh, there's a fort here. I missed it. Oopsies. Put you guys up here. What the heck? Oh, there's a fort here as well. They had them turned off and I didn't even catch it. I am really silly. Yep. That's unfortunate. I did not realize that this fort was turned off. Well, that's fine. Barrage that wall there. Get a general over here and have you guys get killed over here. Well, to the best of our abilities. These are hills. If they want to head up into the drylands, they can. And get uh, get bent over here. Get you guys down here to catch those guys separately. Being annoying. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh, these rebels are crazy, man. Look at this. 60 stacks. That's nuts. In roads? Damn it. We have transports. We have transports. Bring that stack over to roads. Are these guys handled. Should be handled, right? Those guys are handled over there. Oh my gosh. Provis, what have you done to me? Provis, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Provis trolled me, friends. I was successfully trolled. All right. Let's get you guys over here. Now, my goal is... Oh my gosh. <laughs> this guy. This guy. All right. It's fine. It's fine, chat. We just need to take his capital, which is probably way over here. Yep. All right. Let's get you guys over here. Get you guys over here. And these guys will just carp siege from the south. Provis was doing like 19 wars at a time. Not really my style. I'm much more of a casual, like, you know, conquer as you go and then peace out. Uh, declare the next war like right before sort of deal. That's sort of my my style. Damn. Didn't mean to get into that war. These guys are jumping on me. Damn, bro. Looks like we got to keep our big juicy stacks. Wait for these guys to lock in. Shift consolidate and wipe them. There you go. There you go. So these guys have lost like their entire army. 270,000 men. They still got 150. That's nuts. All right. So we're handling these rebels now. Let's have you guys brought over to Rhodes, which is a nice big beefy fort that they will not be able to do anything with. These rebels over here are mostly handled, actually. I can do that. All right. Oh my gosh. That is a definite... 100 stack of rebels Not for long All right, let's have you guys over here have these guys suppress Good music, I love this. I love this music pack, dude. I don't think that's vanilla might be it is maybe it is is it? Yes, that's from uh, the uh, Scandinavian overhaul mod Music Hey goo, huh? Okay, very good. We got rebels over here we should suppress with them. That is a 140 stack on Ayutthaya. That is insane. That's actually nuts. Okay, we're starting to get our cores finished up here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right. I actually just realized we had a bunch of provinces over here in the Bengal. Nice. We're barely overextended anymore. We won't be overextended in a few months, which is awesome. Uh-huh. So let's have you guys head over here. Hopefully before they win that siege. Let's get out of here. Let's get these guys grouped up as well. Okay, apparently I messed that up. I can't believe how many men these guys have. That's nuts. Okay. All right, very good. Just need to kill as many of their... Armies as possible. Okay, so Orissa's in this war as well. Let's see if we can just get onto his capital and piece them out. I, this is nuts how many men they've lost, actually. Look at that. 
Gujarat has lost 226,000. Jampur has lost 106. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a lag. That is quite a lag. Oh, that's quite a lag. Okay. So, yeah. That's uh not really worth my time there. So, let's get you guys suppressing over here. And I just need to take a look here. <laughs> Rob has freaking griefed me. All right. Let's see. As far as rebels go, we have particularists, Albanian separatists, which are being handled right now. Norwegian separatists, which are not being handled. Let's uh, have these guys head up this way. We'll just snake them up there. It's fine. That way they'll handle them autonomously without my help. That's what autonomously means. If you didn't know, now you do. Very good. So let's also take a look at... Um, Somebody told me that Senor Pravis unaccepted Greek culture. He did too, didn't he? Oh my gosh, this is lagging so much. Ah, look at that. It's like not even accepting it. Too many calculations. Too many calculations. All right. So that means we're getting nothing from this, which is unfortunate. I mean, the advisor cost means nothing, but... I just thought that was funny because people were like, no, Provis, he unaccepted Greek culture. No. So we got that there. We got that there. We got that there. Got that there. We have all of them. They're all upgraded. All of them. All kinds. So this guy here gives us 15% governing capacity. So we should probably do that, right? This will be great. The lag is nuts. Oh, because this thing popped up again. Because our governing capacity went over the max minimum. Here you go. Now look at that. We're under our governing capacity max. Look at that. Because the Palace of Bangkok is overpowered. Uh, this one here. This one here. Oh, we just need to occupy that siege back again. Let's have you guys head over there and occupy that back. Oopsies. Yeah, that, that's bad. These guys are not going to be able to get out of there alive. Let's have you guys head over here and over here. The Indians, man, they're popping off. They're popping off. They're no longer overextended, so you can clear off those events there. Let's actually have you guys switch to a siege general. Ah. The uh, artillery combat ability as well, and the, um, whatchamacallit, the the other one, the um, siege ability, look very similar. I got a 60 stack here that I wasn't even paying attention to. Let's have you guys with the fire damage head over here. That should be a win. Definitely a win. Oh, they're attacking me. Hot, da hot dog. This jungle as well. So, easy enough. Is that a fort here in Dhaka? But it is uh, a stack wipe. Okay, cool. Actually, we can keep them force marching. That's fine. They're over here trying to siege their forts back again. Have you guys head down here. This is uh, John Poor. So look at these losses they're taking. That's crazy. Absolute carnage. So this war, this is just one war. One war. They've lost 650,000. I've lost 300. Like I'm hardly I'm hardly touched by this. These guys are like getting absolutely bonked, man. Um okay. Whew, this is crazy. All right. So because I don't have his capital, we hardly have any war score. <laughs> We're no longer overextended, which is nice. Uh let's boost our stab up as well. No reason to have it below. And, uh, yeah, now we just need to start working our way up there. Now that we've sieged this back, we can upgrade you. Which one? We get it all the way up. Diplo rep and relations, which is nice. If you're wondering how I'm clearing it so fast, you just click it and hold down C while you're clicking it. Oh, no wonder I have no manpower. I've literally been spending it all. We gained 15,000 a month, so it's fine. That's two clicks there. Uh, so that gives us... An extra Diplo rep and two Diplo relations, but uh, even better yet, look how cheap our advisors are. Bet you didn't know you could get an advisor. Okay, I guess they're not that, that they're not that cheap. 
Yeah, they're not that cheap, actually. <laughs> but uh, let's take a look over here. This province I cannot use because we need to be Buddhist. Buddhist. Um, we got some rebels over here. We have ships over here by chance. Looks like I have no transports over here. Do I have none at all? There's an African fleet of transports. Oh, they're literally right here. I'm dumb. All right, let's have you guys brought over here with a general. Attach and uh, head over. Right there. Handle them. They're like flooding in here with one stacks. It's very annoying. These huge wars in the late game. Like I'm literally running at like 10 frames per second in these wars. It's actually insane. Let's have these guys head over and uh, start killing off more of these armies as we can. Yes. Destroy their armies. Do not give them a chance to regenerate. That's a 40 stack with... Ah, crap. There's a 74 stack with no general. Ah, they brought in a three star. They're reinforcing. Ah, the dog pile is too strong. Too strong. Look how many men they're losing. All right, so we have the war goal. So the ideal way to do this is you take their forts while also taking as much land as possible. So something like this would probably be like the ideal peace deal. Something like that. But uh, we'll see. I'm not going to get my hopes up. I Separate piecing some of the belligerents would actually be really good for us. So let's get over here. Get you guys over here. Peace out John Poor separately. We need to piece out Timmy as well. Timmy's probably low enough. Oh, he's definitely low enough. All right. Peace out. Break off your alliances with anybody useful. There you go. And then John Poor, once we get onto his capital, will likely peace out as well. And that frees up a lot of men to uh, do whatever we decide, what we deem appropriate. There we go. Get those guys out of there. Protect their independence, of course. The church deserves independence. Oh, looks like we lost a guy. Let's go with uh, trade efficiency. And uh, next idea group, war score, province war score cost is really solid. There we go. There we go. Nice. Win all the sieges. All kinds of sieges. John Poor is on medium enthusiasm. Win this fort here, please. Yeah, it's annoying. They're just going to keep on. They're on high enthusiasm. They're making gains, I bet, right? Ongoing battles. Where? Uh-oh. The Prussian Navy. Not the Navy. I bet they're transporting tra uh, troops with that ships. those ships, too. Okay, we won that. Let's get on to his capital, and that should allow... Oh, nice. I'm definitely going to annul his alliances, though. Yep, so I'll have to take his capital fort here. Let's just hopefully take that in one tick. There we go. That should be enough to piece him out for that. Very good. Easy enough. Breaking up these freaking hug boxes in, uh, in India is enough of a headache as is. Okay. Um, let's have you guys head down here. Look, they just have so many men. Even with Prussia marching over like a half a million men, it's crazy. Like, what do you do about it? There's not. There's only so much you can do. There's so many of them. I'm glad that Prussia is... Uh, look at this. Russia's got a giant stack. It's actually insane how many men the AI will build if they're your vassal. We plan to take this all for ourselves, so we're not going to take uh, tech until we need to. Let's uh, get over here. Get you guys over there. Continue converting everything, of course, because we need a beautiful map mode. go I do love the orthodox religion look at that so are all of our vassals orthodox I should be looking at that right so new Italy is cold north is grand bio is 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 not so death valley needs to be converted I uh, saw some comments about that. We definitely need to do that. So enforce religion. That will actually improve our relations with them quite a bit as well. Because they are no longer a heretic. 
Coco Coco is uh, the wrong religion as well. So enforce on them and um, support loyalists because, you know, no reason not to. Kashyyyk is... Excuse me? <laughs> okay, I'm leaving that one. That's a good one. <laughs> I love that. All right, the West Indies is... And uh, Mooseland is not. So, Provis, uh, I think he just missed it because he, he was doing a lot of these already. So, a lot of them... Um, I mean, he did a lot of them recently, is what I meant to say. Upside down pizza is, so we're good. All right. So, as far as this war goes, we're basically done with it. Um, it would be best to take a few more forts up here. I mean, a little bit of overextension isn't going to hurt us. Couldn't hurt us more than it already is, so we might as well 100% them, right? There's literally no reason not to. Have you guys get over there and have these guys... Get these guys occupied over here. Pasha being super useful. There you go. Get these guys full occupied. Only being 100% overextended is going to be like nothing for us. So that'll be good. All right, this is fine. And uh, you also got to remember that we can... We can uh, yoink the dev in all of these provinces that we just took. And so it's actually going to be way less overextension than it actually originally said it was going to be. I wasn't, I didn't actually look at the peace deal to see how much it said it was going to be, but it's not going to be that much. All right. Very good. The core all cost us like 200 to core all that. Uh, those guys should break off. There you go. And core all. So it says it's at 110. I don't think it'll actually be that much. Come on now. Maybe it is that much. Eh, that's okay. No big deal. These uh, particulars were killed. Crazy. Actually crazy. All right. Well, I think that's probably a good place to call it for this episode. Uh, mostly spent the episode uh, figuring out, you know, how to not die from the 300 some percent overextension that Provis left me with, but I hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. If you are, make sure you let us know by leaving a like on the video. Uh, if you're wanting to catch up, check the playlist linked in the description below the video, as well as my Discord, Twitter, uh, subreddit, anything like that. It's all linked below, as well as my Patreon. If you have it within your means and you want to support what I do, that's the best way to do it. But that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.